Friends and family of the class of 2021. In this time of change, we are so pleased to be able to gather together to celebrate our graduates. Tonight is the culmination of the work of students, staff, and families. Congratulations to all. We would like to remind everyone that masks or face coverings are required at all times by all persons while inside this facility. This is required by Franklin County School and Lewisburg College. Also, we ask that you mute or power down your cell phones. We ask that you refrain from comments, shout outs, and any disruptive behavior. Each one of these young people and their families deserves to hear the name announced with dignity and respect. After all names are called, we will cheer and applaud all of our graduates as they begin the next phase of their lives. At the conclusion of our service, we ask that all guests remain in the auditorium until all of the graduates have exited. Thank you in advance for your cooperation in making tonight such a special event.
Service, Mr. Michael Zawinski, Chief of Human Resources, Ms. Quinley Coley, Chief of Finance, Dr. Danielle Parker, Executive Director of Secondary Education and Career and Technical Education, Dr. Jeffrey Hawthorne, Executive Director of K-5 Education and Federal Programs, Ms. Frieda Clifton, Director of Personnel and Equity, Mr. Dwayne McIntosh, who's standing out in the audience, Director of Communication. Thank you. I would also like to recognize our staff on stage. Mr. Daniel Wright, our principal. Mr. Charlie Wilson, our assistant principal, and myself, Mr. Brooks, assistant principal. Now I would like to recognize the Glenn High School teachers and staff. Would you please stand? I would like to take this time to recognize some of our students for their outstanding academic achievements. We will begin with our high honor graduates. The following students have attained a cumulative GPA of 4.2 or higher. Students, please stand when I call your name. Chloe Sylvia Bracey. Chastity Scarlett Burnett. Amelia Ardine Floyd. Caleb Robert Jeffries. Joseph Lance Joyner. Aiden Hamilton McKeithen. Julia Grace Perry. Emily Celine Spivey. Kaylee Rose Turner. Rebecca Grace Tyson. North Carolina Academic Scholars received a special seal on their diplomas. These students have completed the prescribed coursework. The following graduates will be recognized by the color of their course. These students' names will appear in the commencement program. Students, please stand when I call your announced and distinctions. Honors graduates, cumulative GPA of 3.5 to 4.1. Thank you. Purple and silver cords. Beta Club, Gold Store. <laughs> Student Council, 
black court. <laughs> Honors music, pink court. <laughs> National Art Honor Society, multicolored. Spanish Honor Society, Red Court. <laughs> Future Farmers of America, National Blue and Corn Gold Court. <laughs> Roe Kappa National Social Studies Honor Society, Blue and White Court. Nursing Fundamentals, Pink Stole, and Red, White, and Blue Court. Thank you. And Work Keys, Maroon Court. to be with you this evening, and I have the honor of recognizing Bunn High School salutatorian and valedictorian. In order to be recognized as the salutatorian or valedictorian, a student must have attended Bunn High School for an entire year and have course credit equal to or exceeding their maximum potential, minus two. The maximum potential is 32 credits, therefore a student must have earned a total of 30 credits during their high school years. First up, I'm going to recognize our salutatorian. Chastity Scarlett Burnett, the daughter of Gary and Heather Burnett, is our salutatorian with a GPA of 4.419. Chastity will be attending, just one second, Chastity will be attending Eastern Carolina University where she will be majoring in chemistry. Chastity's goal is to become a pharmacist. While at Bunn High School, Chastity has participated in Beta Club, Road Kappa, and Symphonic and Marching Band. Chastity also served as a class representative for student council. Ladies and gentlemen, Chastity Scarlett Burnett. valedictorian with a cumulative grade point average of 4.5 is Julia Grace Perry, the daughter of Chris and Amber Perry. Julia will be attending Wayne Community College in the fall where she will participate in their turf management program. After completing the program, Data Club, the Student Council, and as a member of the volleyball team, Julia has also worked as a lifeguard and she's volunteered with the Human Coalition organization. She works at the River Golf Course. Ladies and gentlemen, Julia Grace Perry, your valedictorian. class of 2021 and all who are here this evening. My fellow class classmates, finally we made it. Out of all four years, this past one has definitely been the longest and most challenging for us all. It definitely was a bummer not having the same kind of senior year as those before us had. None of us would have even made it this far without help from our parents, teachers, staff members, and everyone else to make this possible. With that, on behalf of class 2021, I thank you. I bet everyone is surprised we made it through this tough year and did not wait to move past it. At the same time, I think people shouldn't have been so ready for time to pass. Probably would have looked at about a year or so. They should have instead been living in the moment. When I learned that I was a tutorial, I was excited, and then I started thinking way ahead to when I had to give my speech, rather than living in the moment and immediately starting on my speech. During school, I would do this a lot, and I know other people that do this as well, where they would know about an assignment and think more about it when it's due rather than sitting down and actually doing the assignment. 
Then that like was more of its due, they can get it done, and it was either passable or very good depending on the student. This reminds me of that time during band camp when our marching instructor Peyton said, that's the problem with you fun kids. You know you're smart enough that you don't need to practice something, that you'll get it when you need to, or something like that. If you went ahead and did the assignment, though, and turned it in, then it would be done, it would be done and you wouldn't have to worry about it that night in a rush to finish it. It was great, but for this speech, I sat down and started writing this before it was too soon, so I had time to write and make changes. Obviously, the speech did get done, as you are seeing in here right now. This whole year, I've been noticing that people have been wanting time to pass to the point where everything was back to normal. But I don't think that's the way it should have been looked at. If anything, they should have been doing what the other people were doing and living in the moment. I see the past year as a time not to wish for time to pass, but as a period where you could have bettered yourself. While stuck at home, you could have done things like finally get it, get into shape or get around to finishing that home project that's been sitting in the corner. This is also the perfect time to spend with your family that you live with, maybe due to day-to-day -day life or you didn't sit down and bond with them as much as you like. It's like when the power goes out, instead of sitting on your phone waiting to get the internet back, you break out the old board game and sit down with the family. Since a lot of people had to do work from home, they had more time at home and could have spent more time with their family. For this, though, I had another way of living in the moment back when I actually had to be at the school. Personally, I did wish in high school I was a little more social, but thanks to this school, that school definitely did grow, and for me, most of the growth came from both band and the marching band. It was where I was most exposed to fellow students that were outside my grade level. I met many who have either already graduated or who will graduate soon after me. And those people were basically a second family to me. Band was when I was the most focused on the moment rather than worrying about my other classes. I'm sure many of the other students in this graduating class have found something similar in classes like chorus, welding, art, sports, and many of the clubs some of, some of our teachers would run. Thanks to these activities like these, Students had an outlet and something they could throw themselves into other than their schoolwork. I would like to first thank Mr. Schimpfessel, the band teacher at Bun High School, and all the other teachers and staff that gave kids that distraction from all the hard and boring schoolwork, essentially making them live in the present without them studying, without them, without them students, without them, students probably wouldn't have as much fun in school or a place where they feel safe to be themselves. Finally, to my fellow classmates, congrats on finally graduating. This will be the end of the chapter of our lives and start a new chapter. One where we may not have all the answers, but one where we will persevere. My personal experience in high school taught me that you definitely won't have all the answers, but you really aren't expected to. And that will always be the case in life moving forward. I also learned not to stress over the little things and always strive to be the best you can be. I'd like to leave you all with this piece of advice. Don't be so worried about the future. Live in the present. And always, when you feel like you're getting too stressed or overwhelmed, take a moment and breathe.
class of 2021, parents, families, and staff. After 13 years of hard work, we have finally made it to the finish line. Today, as we walk across the graduation stage to receive our diplomas, we leave high school behind and we look forward to our future. Our senior year has been taken over by COVID-19, and as a result, we lost homecoming, pet rallies, and most importantly, the ability to see our friends face-to-face -face for possibly the last time. Instead of focusing on that, I would like to remember all the memories we've made together in the past four years as we all look forward to where the future will take us. Over the years, we've done some pretty crazy things that I don't think I'll ever forget. The memory that sticks out the most to me is throwback day during the spirit week of junior year. We managed to get our hands on the bun middle uh, mascot and got somebody to wear it. Meanwhile, bags of flour were thrown all around our square, covering everyone. <laughs> everyone in white powder that got every classroom we went in dirty. I've never seen that many teachers mad at once, and while I will admit I was scared most of our class would get suspended, that was the best day of my high school career. <laughs> In fact, I saw a video of that day on my phone, and I'm sure many of you can say the same thing. While this memory will forever be with me, unfortunately, we as seniors have found many traditions this year. Our senior year is all about us being on top and going out the bank. Every event during the year is formed around making the seniors feel special, from pep rallies, prom, and senior skip day. Thankfully, many parents, families, and companies helped host the junior senior prom with hopes of giving us some sense of normalcy back. We should also be thankful to everyone who has helped us have a graduation ceremony today, as the seniors last year were not as lucky. Our parents, families, administrators, and teachers have done all that all they can this year to give us the best senior year possible, and I will forever be thankful. Before you leave here today, be sure to thank all the people who have helped you get to this moment in your life, because you cannot have done it without them. Please do not misunderstand me. While this year has been challenging, it has not all been negative. We have grown and learned from our experiences. If you are here today, you are healthy and you are preparing to accomplish one of the biggest milestones in life, graduating from high school. In all honesty, being virtual for most of the year has enabled us to put a twist on several senior traditions. For example, when has it ever been this easy to have a senior skip day when all you had to do was submit an assignment by 1159? <laughs> <laughs> also, the last time it was this easy to wear your pajamas to school was on Polar Express Day in elementary school. <laughs> and let's be real, how many of you lost your phones for texting in class this year? We've learned by now that this is a part of life, taking the bad and finding a way to make it good. Personally, this year was more challenging than others. Many of you know that I'm a quiet person who usually have her head in a book. And so I thought having to go into lockdown would have been perfect. However, as time wore on, I grew lonely and really just wanted to be back in school with my friends. School at times was nerve-wracking, but during the pandemic, I would have given anything to walk the halls with y'all again. I know that the only way I ever got through the loneliness and sadness that this pandemic caused was my relationship with God. He constantly reminded me that even when it felt like no one was there, that I was alone. He was walking beside me, and he would never leave me. And if you listen to no other part of my speech, please listen to this part. Just like God is always there with me, he's always there with each and every one of you. He loves you and he wants what's best for you. Never forget that. As we all start to go our separate ways today, whether it be college, the military, or the workforce, remember to take with you the lessons we have learned throughout high school, such as the ability to adapt to never before seen circumstances and come out stronger than we were before. Never forget the friends you've made along the way as they have helped you get to where you are today. Finally, continue to spend time with your family like all of us have learned to do this year because we are not promised tomorrow. As I close today, I feel it is only fitting to end with a quote that fully summarizes this past year. And I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. Michael Scott, regional manager of Dunder Mifflin's <laughs> Grant Brothers. Congratulations to all and congratulations to class of 2021. This is the first time since March 12, 2020, we have all been together. Last year, I told the class of 2020 that our class would never be forgotten in my high school. That was due to the nation in the way that school ended last year. Where this year has been just as, if not more unprecedented. You did not get to have the open day ceremony where the entire student body stood while you entered the gym. Homecoming Spirit Week was not held. Friday night football was not the same. While you were able to participate in athletic events, they were different as well. 
All sports were limited to a certain number of spectators. You had to navigate remote learning for an entire school year. But through it all, you persevered. You took the challenges you faced head on. You showed the discipline and commitment it took to follow through on each and every assignment. It wasn't easy, but you were able to overcome the many different changes that came your way. You being here tonight proves that point. Thank your parents, your teachers, your friends, your guidance counselor, thank everyone who had a hand in getting you to this point. This year has been different, but it has also been so rewarding because you overcame the divergence in your way. You must have the courage to say, this would not defeat me. You adapted to the different plans we operated under this year. You stayed the course to make sure nothing stood in your way of becoming graduates of Bun High School. One thing you need to do is look at this day as a new beginning. As you finish this chapter in your life, your next chapter is beginning. While you should enjoy this moment, there's many more great moments to come your way. You are a hard-working, dedicated group of young people. 59% of the class of 2021 will be attending a two or four year college. 28% plans to enter the workforce and 4% will join the military and be missing a graduate tonight because she is already in boot camp. The class of 2021 has been awarded a total of $1,315,644 in scholarship. And that is almost $800,000 more than last year. <laughs> With each new milestone comes a degree of adaptability. You have shown in the last 15 months that you can adapt. I have no doubt in my mind that you will make a difference in this world. For I know you can have any adversity that comes your way. You will tell your story one day to your children and grandchildren. You will tell them how you graduated without stepping a foot into a senior class your senior year. You will tell them how you were the first class at Bun High School to attend an entire year of learning your experience. You will tell them that it was you, but you did not give up. You set your goals. You achieved a major milestone in your life. You pushed through. And you made your parents and the Bun community proud because on this night you will walk across the stage as graduates of Bun High School class of 2021. Thank you. Oh. Before we begin the presentation of the form, allow me to remind you of the format of our program. The commencement exercises were divided into two parts. The first part is a formal ceremony and a time to honor the seniors for their academic achievements. It will take time to call 170 names, but each name is equally important and deserves to be heard. We ask that you hold the cheers and applause until all the diplomas have been awarded. The second part of the presentation will be a celebration. After all the diplomas have been presented and the charge to the class is given, we will enjoy our time together for celebration. Thank you in advance for honoring the class of 2021 appropriately. Yes, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Bun High School, and with the power invested in me by the Franklin County Board of Education, I present to you 170 students who have met the requirements set by the North Carolina State Board of Education and local requirements set by Franklin County School Board. Marshals, come forward.
Brian Michael Austin. Yes, sir. <laughs> Christina Angel Austin. Let's go, Angel. Dexter Earnhardt Andrews. Please remember to hold your applause. Crystal Alvarez Flores. Max Andrade Ramirez. Juvenile Junior Angelo. John Marquise Austin. Anna Jacqueline Avila. Brenna Grace Mikkel Askew. Travis Neal Askew. Landon Garrett Ball. Maya Benet Barnes. Dwayne Tyreek Barnes Knox. Jimena Barreto Amazon. Danielle Marie Ball. Connor Joseph Bell. Miranda Lee Bell. Ricky Benitez Valdez. Joseph Lamar Benson. Emily Faye Bowden. Joseph Andrew Boyer. Chloe Sylvia Bracey. Tony Jamil Branch. Tyler Lee Buchanan. Please remember to hold your applause. Jordan Lee Briggs. Gregory Dale Bullock. Chastity Scarlett Burnett. Tabiana Amaya Faith here. Oh, Hannah Jane Carlisle. Scott Thomas Cassett Ronde. Alyssa Marie Clark. Elijah Matthew Clark. Nathan David Clifton. 
Joseph James Cracken. Nathan Bedford Cracken. Allison Grace Pulley Creech. Braden Elijah Cribb. Natalie Diana Cruder. Salvador Cuellar Hernandez. Trevor Coy Davis. Zachary Preston Davis. Tatiana Marie DeValle. Right, <coughs> Tori Logan Dent. <laughs> Natalie Diane Denton. <laughs> Kalia Shante Dent. <laughs> Madison Adley Driver. William Owen Pitt Driver. Aaliyah Diane Dunson. Yeah, Renee Elise Durham. Dylan Whitfield Ellington. Daniel Allen Ingberg. Eric Nicholas Fairclough. Amelia Ardeen Floyd. Charlie Celeste Floyd. Eric Robert Foltz. Trace Allen Frazier. Elmer Alexander Garcia Guerrero. John Garcia Sosa. Maximus Alexander Gerbos. Lissandro Gomez Alvarado. Ryan Alexander Goods. Preston Douglas Goss. Charles Yvonne Goer. Micaiah Denise Grant. Okay. Okay. Brianna Scott Hagwood. Madison Nicole Hamilton. Casey Dylan Harden. Jake Michael Harper. Diamond Danae Shante Hawkins. Yeah. Wyatt Michael Hayden. Yeah. Ayana Janae Hedgehead. Yeah. Demonte LaShawn Herbert. Giovanni Hernandez Gonzalez. Dario Hernandez Sotelo. Okay. 
Kyle George Herman. Kaylee Renee Hester. Jordan Leilani Starkis Pinkle. Dylan Morell Pinkle. Sincere Bontrell Holden. There you go, boy! Madison Ann Jacobs. Caleb Robert Jeffrey. Yeah, David Mikkel Jenkins. Yeah. Tyler Lee Johnson. Raheem Trey Jones. Joseph Lance Joyner. Joseph Anthony Giuliano Jr. Lamont Kearney. Tamaya Nicole Kelly. Mariana Bernicia Levison. Christopher John McLeod. Marisi Lita Martinez Bononi. Aiden Hamilton McKeithen. Carl Aaron Meyer. I'm sorry. Mariana Mata Gutierrez. Tadeja Monique Mickin. Marlon Mata Freddy Monica Gutierrez Amon Gregory Montero Ryan Jamal Moody Elizabeth Murray, Evelyn May Mahalo, yep, yep. Brianna Marie Nazarod, Samuel Edwards Nichols, Britton Decada Fadden, Megan Reed Fagan. Alexa Lane Pierce. Eli Braxton Pierce. <laughs> Mitchell Franklin Pierce. Jesus Humberto Paredes Garcia.
Julia Grace Perry. Macy Brooke Perry. Keith Peters. Kristen Jacob Queen. Clay William Quinton. <laughs> Nicholas Antonio Ramirez. Kaylin Marie Graham. <laughs> Lorelai Grace Ray. Andrew Reyes Grootman. <laughs> Samaria Chantel Riviera Perez. Brian Alexis Romero Garcia. David Salazar. Brianna. Lorraine Scott. <laughs> Casey Taylor Scott. <laughs> Gerard Bryant Sitter. Elijah Thomas Sharp. Victoria Grace Sharon. Brian Simon Perez. Lucas, Lucas Grayson Winstow Smith. Ryan Connor Smith. Tamara Lanique Snead. Emily Celine Spivey. Anthony Spivey Jr. Diamond Deshay Staggers. Tanita Danielle Stewart. Joseph Daniel Sumner. Hannah Nicole Tarr. Tariq Javion Taylor. Jackson Kelly Thomas. Savannah Lynn Tuck. Albany Taylor Tom Turner. Kaylee Rose Turner. 
Rebecca Grace Tyson. Roberto Ugalde Dorado. Let's go! Let's go! Brenda Vila Morez. Jose Pedro Villavazo. Charles Jackson Waddell. Christian Jameson Watson. Shamaya Lenny Wales. DeAndre Marquel Webb. Nicholas Wayne White. Mason Lee Whitman. Ethan Neal Wilson. Jaheen Amari Wilson. Emily Elizabeth Wood. <laughs> Trinity Lachey Worthy. <laughs> Michaela Elizabeth Wyatt. 